Hi, and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video, I'll be going over how to organize your globals. Here's the situation. I've created my budget, and I've entered a ton of globals. And when going through my budget and trying to apply them, I can't remember what I labeled them, and sometimes it's even hard to find them within the globals table. So here's how I solve that. So here's the budget I created. I'm in a detail account and I've created a bunch of detail line items and even applied some globals to some of these lines and you can tell that by this little globe indicator off here to the left letting you know that there is a global on this line because it isn't apparent when you set it to display by value so if I select this cell you can see that there's a calculation here involving a global and I want to change this to one of my different globals but I'm having a hard time remembering what I named that global and if I go to my global setup table, which I can have open while I'm working in the budget, notice here if I can go back here and rename things and I can have this global setup table open. But I have all these globals all in one big group. And so I'm having to search through here to find out what it is I want to change it to. So one of the easier ways for me to organize things is to create global groups. So I'm going to create one for my weekly pay hours group, and that's all these down here at the bottom. And so if I click on the new global group icon, I can go weekly pay hours. And I can even give it a description. And now what I'm going to do is go back to that default group and scroll down here to the bottom. And I'm going to select all those weekly pay hours globals that I've created and click the move global button and select the category and right now that's the only other category that I have so it's selected by default I'm going to click OK and notice if I just select the weekly pay hours it's just got those globals in here and if I want to see everything together I could select both groups and you can see all the globals still but they're organized into the different groups and I can even collapse and expand groups if I wanted to. So I'm going to go through here and create as many groups as I need to to organize things a little bit better. Another one that I know I want to create is I want to create one for Film and Lab. And the description is optional and you don't have to put it in so I'm going to leave it blank and click OK. I'm going to go back to that default group and here are those Film and Lab ones. And I'm going to select the entire row here and if I right click these items, notice there's also a move icon in this uh, contextual menu. So if I select that, Film and Lab is the topmost category, so it's already selected, and I can click OK. So those are the only ones in that group. So again, if I want to see everything together, I can highlight all three groups and see everything all in one window, or I can select just that group to isolate the things that I'm trying to work with. And I can further organize these by selecting different ones, moving them up or down to organize them in a specific way that I want to. You can even sort them by these header names. But be careful, when you sort them by the header names, you can't undo that action. So if you have a manual sort that you've applied to these and you like the way they're set up, if you sort it by any of these header descriptions, it will stay that way. And you currently can't get back to that original order. Now one last tip in this area, if I wanted to print out this global table, if I hit print preview right now with just film and lab selected, it's just going to print out that film and lab, those film and lab globals. But if I wanted to print everything out, I would select all three, and then it will print out all the globals. So I hope that helps you stay organized and work faster within the application. But if you have suggestions on ways we can improve it, we'd love to hear about it. You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page so you can get updates on when we add new videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. Also, you can check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.